while foreigners who've sought refuge in the country's townships fear again becoming the targets of xenophobic violence, as we've just been telling you. One Zimbabwean businessman says he's been living in this country for a decade and doesn't live in fear for his life. Godfrey Madanhire lives a privileged life compared to many of his countrymen who have come to South Africa in search of a better life. Having moved to South Africa from Zimbabwe 10 years ago, he runs his own business as a motivational speaker. And with threats of xenophobic violence once again doing the rounds in many of the country's poor townships, living in a middle-class suburban neighborhood, he doesn't fear for his life at all. Honestly, it hasn't affected me as a person. Because uh, I work with South Africans. I go out to the locations every day. I mix with them and I haven't had any problems. So I also want to think it's just probably in our minds. Madanhira believes the key to ending the mistrust of foreigners lies in learning about each other's cultures. If I look at the World Cup, we, our, our national team, which is South Africa, lost. They are out of the World Cup. What, but what did we do? We started adopting other countries, which means we fell in love with something that is foreign. So if we can do that in sports, why can't we do it in everyday life? Since the 2008 xenophobic attacks, violence has flared up several times, but always in poor informal areas. Analysts and researchers have questioned whether the government has done enough to stop the violence from happening again. And many believe the fight for scarce resources and jobs, poverty and poor service delivery are major contributors to the problem. Diane Hawker, E-News, Cape Town.